I'm not sure if that's better or worse than my coughing. <sighs> We're going back to that console again, and it, like, that console is literally not used for anything, but I keep going back to it. I'm well, sorry. Well, you know, you were playing this blind for some insane reason, so... Because... Well, actually, okay, so... The reason I wanted to play that, like, I, I wanted us to do this game. Um, uh -huh, yeah. But the reason I wanted to play it is because I am very much into cyberpunk games and, like, cyberpunk media in general. And, uh, this so, is, th this is very much a cyberpunk, like, adventure game. It is. So, Bar, I'm assuming you're really excited for uh, CD Projekt's next game? Yes, Cyberpunk 2077. My computer is not Aren't going to be able to play it. <laughs> Neither is mine, but I might buy it anyways. Yeah. Well, well yeah, like, I, I'm i very excited for that, actually, because CD Projekt Red are fantastic developers who have fantastic support for their uh, their, their customers. And that I'm not saying that because Beneath the Steel Sky is free on goodoldgames.com. But by the way, Beneath the Steel Sky is totally free on goodoldgames.com. Yeah. <laughs> no one's paid us to advertise that uh, Beneath the Steel Sky is free on goodoldgames.com. No but, one. It's free. Goodoldgames.com. Yeah, I, uh, I, I wanted to actually, I wanted to play this game. And so I was like, it's a heavy well, if I'm going to play it, I might as well record it, and then we can do it for uh, the channel as well. So, yeah, I'm playing this kind of pseudo-blind. Uh, mo mostly blind. I went back and re-recorded a lot of stuff after the fact. But So we, we pick up these two items in the storeroom. They have no use. Because they, they are... get taken right away. They are red herrings, but there is an item on the ground that, in a pixel hunt fashion, that you have to pick up because it won't be taken away. Uh, it's like an in inverted puzzle, and I don't like it. Yeah, it's like I I noticed it on the ground there. Um, like, just while I was playing. So, it, like, it, it wasn't a big problem. It was a big problem for me when I played. <laughs> yeah. Do I have to strip off? Heavens, no. Definitely not. <laughs> but yeah, I, I noticed the putty on the ground, so it wasn't a huge problem, but it's... Pixel Hunt stuff are very annoying things in adventure games for me. My mother gave it to me. <laughs> and Rob's just making jokes about all of these items. You're a walking tool box. Because he Blimey. he smart shades. You can have them if you like. Uh, that's all the shades are good for. Oh, I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. But okay. This is also where the this is also where the sandwich comes into play. If you do happen to get it from Hobbins's um, no cupboard. I was so heartbroken when you took the sandwich. <laughs> Well, what are you gonna do with a rotting sandwich, though? Yes. Consume it and die. <laughs> also, I'd never be without a can of lubricant. It this again, <laughs> like a terrible. Yes, 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 yes. Again, 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 again. The subtitles say WD forty, but the dialogue says lubricant. So the dialogue makes it sound way more sexual than the subtitles do. <laughs> Oh, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. Yeah. By the but yeah, way, he just, he takes the WD-40 and the key that we took from the store. Sweater. Don't laugh at my jams as well. Yeah, his, we, we, we will see that sweater. We will see that sweat, sweater later in the game. And... You mean jumper. He calls it a sweater in the dialogue. Excuse me. Again, difference between su subtitle and dialogue I, that I don't understand. Um... But yeah, we will see his his jumper sweater uh, later in the game, and we will see why he asked the man there to not make fun of it. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I actually do not remember uh, the payoff for this joke, so that'll be fun to see. It's it's pretty late in the game, 
Um, and it's you you literally only see it for like five seconds worth uh, it because it's Lamb. the only it's the only point in the game where rob takes off his overcoat and lamb is just like mashing his card against that card slot like why is it not working i think it took him so long to figure it out you know a guy called yeah Overman? we had to we had to wait Doberman. for him to stop no, and he calls overman doberman what do you do for i like how the capitalization in the text versus the yelling in the dialogue was reversed yeah. I go home yeah. And watch a video. We will see that video that he likes when to watch as well. Prepared? I don't uh, know. Spoiler alert. Uh, it's <laughs> Come on! You don't gotta spoil it now. The name I is... Couldn't resist. Well, the name of it is hilarious enough. Uh, oh, I... I'll, ha I'll have to talk to you about that hey, off recording, man. actually. Excellent. <laughs> Because it's not a joke that I want uh, the people to be privy to. But we're not done talking to him. He, he started walking away, but we weren't actually done talking to him. That this, rude son of a this, gun. This dialogue makes you so yeah. sad. <laughs> yeah. Love beavers. And I, I love that you get those two options. It's totally cool. <laughs> it's well smart totally cool same yeah what does your faction yeah that's, that's, you know it's either disgusting or immortal Anything or important? awesome what do you think this city is built this is another nice op option rock and roll <laughs> <laughs> we built this city on rock and roll. Yep, indeed. I actually you just get made that. Me die reference. Inside. I, I actually got that reference, so that was like that was cute. Sewers, you mean? Let me oh tell dear. You <laughs> Pipes oh, and, and oh yes. <laughs> Man, I missed all this stuff when I was twelve because penises. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose somebody has to be. Uh, oh, I don't. Man. I don't. I don't understand why there are, are so Can many like welding, pseudo sexual <laughs> references throughout action. the game when the like there's no there's no like context for it because there's nothing actually yeah, sexual about the game proper. Asimov's laws of robots. Absolutely, except for maybe the plastic it's surgery office. Monster. No. It's just something something no. made up. Okay, fine. Shh, shh, shh. Anyways. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'm a little bit sad that I will never not be able to show this to my church. Sounds like a job for. Yeah, so now that now that Joey is in a new shell, though, he can reach that cable that was hanging alluringly over there. Which we cannot actually grab yet. Because it falls. Because, of course, you snip it. With the welder. Yeah, That's with how it works, right? I mean, it, it's... Like, industrial cable, I guess. I don't know. So now I'm lost again, at this point. I'm not, not really sure what I have to do. And, As you uh, do. Yeah, so I go to talk to these guys. Do again, you know just, guy just see if they have any more Never dialogue heard. options that are useful to like progression to through the, the game. Services. Spoiler alert, they don't. You of course not. What they have right. such that amusing dialogue that I didn't I didn't really care. But you're not hard enough. <laughs> You've got to have tattoos and stuff. <laughs> Been in a Russian prison for ten years. Yeah, exactly. You can't just he come didn't. in and volunteer for the security forces. Didn't I make myself play and he's lame he's brain? just straight rude. You can get information from the link terminal. He's got a very short temper. Now scram. While you and he pulls the gun on us again ends. for asking a question. You shouldn't get yourself so worked I'm up. I'm sure this is satire or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Let's let's not not go into, into police building. state stuff. Yes. <laughs> Run your My mother works for the police, so I wouldn't dream of it. Yeah, exactly. Be vigilant. Uh so I believe at this part, there's actually a death state at this point in the game. Uh, there are two death Not states in this immediate Come area. Um, this is one that I will be showing off. Are you using that dirty card again? 
I tried wiping it on my sleeve. Because we dropped it in the porridge, Give of me course. That card now. If you insist. So this time he just takes it. Looks just fine. It's not suspicious at all. Uh and we actually can just walk out of here. Yeah. You'd figure, like, if he just looked at our ID card, he would have seen that it was, like, Reich's ID card or something. But, n I, I don't know. Actually, he does. Because what he just did there... Well, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's... I, I know what's coming next. And... I, I the, see. The, the typing problems is something with the input in the game. It kind of lagged while typing uh, occasionally, which was a little weird. Well, it's better than when I did it in Day of the Tentacle when I tried to do the save games and I failed just because I'm bad at typing. <laughs> so, this is a death state. We just get completely destroyed. Every minute, eh? That'll teach and yeah. To you stolen ID. So he knows that our ID is stolen, but... We can leave anyways. Yeah, but he doesn't, like, shoot us when we try to walk out, which I thought was kind of odd. I don't know. I mean, okay, but, you know. So at this yeah, point... Yeah, I get it. At this point, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? I have no idea. <laughs> Is this but, where you accidentally murdered yourself with Putty? <laughs> in, not, not captured in this recording, unfortunately. Uh, because I, I didn't want to waste too much time. But yes... I toyed around with the light socket there many times, and um, what I ended up doing in a previous recording was I had the light switch on, and I took the switch. light bulb out of the socket, and then, without turning the light switch off again, placed the putty on top of the light socket. And we will see in just a moment what happens when you put that putty on the light socket. And then turn the light socket on. It blows up. And the old man doesn't seem to care. It, well, he's he's just sleeping. You know. Did you get, like, thrown over the railing or just, like, yeah, your head knocked yeah. off? It, uh, it blows Rob just completely over that railing there. And, uh, and I was actually playing the game at, like, really high game speed at the time, too. Because I was completely lost. So he just, like, went flying. And died. <laughs> just died in like a split second. Was Chef you really confused? Yeah, I was like, "What just happened?" Oh, okay, the putty blows up. Um, and then, but then, you know, blowing up the putty opens up the control panel, so you can get to the switches behind it. And I have no idea if those switches need to actually be flipped into a specific sequence. I literally just reversed them. And it worked. Like, it turned the elevator back on. So, success, we got out of the top floor. Yay. But where's Joey? <laughs> it's long that is a problem, which will be remedied me. next video. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. yeah. Man. I When I played it, the music sounded way different than this. Uh, I think that... There are actually different uh, music tracks. For... Well, no, it's all it's all the same MIDI. It's just that it uses a different. This you're using. Uh, is this the new Scum VM you're using? Yeah, it's yeah. Well, it, the, it's... Old, the the old one must have had a different MIDI uh, reader then. Yeah, because the guess... one I downloaded was an old Scum. It's it's it, it's you know the the newest stuff provided by the good old games. Download. A guy in a round okay. coat carrying an anchor. The one I downloaded the off of Abandonia used statue. like this ancient scum theme that was like black and green, <laughs> and the music sounded different. Yeah. So this is an insurance agency. It shows the state of business. <laughs> and the guy. And it doesn't look good. The guy is just not getting uh, good insurance Hello. business. Hi. You look like a man who needs insurance, young. I like his smile. I like his accent though. A rogue robot policy. We could use that. <laughs> yeah, our robot is pretty rogue. He's he's so rogue that he's not even with us right now while we're talking about this. <laughs> it's definitely possible. Yeah. I I I 
I totally say that it's possible that Joey would turn on us and kill us. You know. Because the behavior he's exhibited up to this point kind of points in that direction. Sociopathic at best. We'll do a probability estimate. And give you the results next month. But of course we don't have a month to How wait. Take so, long? so we have to strip the robot. And down. we don't want to, you know, and kill Joey, component. essentially. Now I'm so we're not gonna do that. It's okay. It's okay. What, we don't we don't need that consider, robot insurance. Yeah? Uh I well, wish we... Joey was here to comment on this saying he might turn on us. Yeah. Uh oh. Now, I, I do come back to these areas with Joey, because of course, but... Obviously. I Yeah, I was, um... Bigger than the one I had as a kid. I used to play with it for hours. <laughs> that's, that's just sad. <laughs> and then he just spins the globe. Like, I could play with that for hours. Yeah, he played with the globe for hours, then he just spins it. It's and, a uh... With lots of little compartments. And I think this is all completely this empty. this coming up line is supposed to be a joke at the expense it's of the developers themselves. Um, what a oh. dump! I wouldn't want to go there. One hundred percent sure that's exactly it. A big yeah, because he a welding torch. he calls the United Kingdom a dump. You know, well, you know, shrug. Mm. Yeah, he does. He has a very good shrugging animation. It's it's great for all of those well, you know, moments. Can you get me to ground level? Sure, on one of my luxury air coach tours. Coach travel makes me sick. Me too. Now, I didn't actually. So while I was going through like all of these dialogue trees, I didn't actually know what relevance these characters had to progressing through the story. They That's actually, normal for adventure games. Yeah, they they actually are required, um, like required for puzzles that you have to solve. But I I was literally just going through. Uh, much like smashing mystery? items on objects in the environment, just mystery? mashing my way through all of the dialogue to see if I could get, like, a clue. <laughs> Can't you give me a clue? Um, as to what I should be doing next. Uh, so just forget about the tour for now, because I don't think there's anything I can do with them at the moment. And we leave to go talk to other people or find other locations... That man of machine sculpture is just so modern. Joey doesn't like it. <laughs> Joey doesn't like anything. <laughs> no, but he particularly doesn't like that. It's a trash bin. I wonder what's kept in there. Rob has apparently never seen a trash bin before. Well, you know, he lives in the gap where everything is garbage, so... <laughs> Whoa! I've never seen anything so good. Admittedly, like, if it, if that's his reaction to shrubs... Eh, maybe fair enough. I can see through to an apartment. Now, this is actually a location I got lost for a little while as well. Uh, because I didn't bother... Despite, like, looking through all of these things, I didn't bother left-clicking on either of those two doors... And those doors have name tags on them, which tell you who the apartments belong to. Well, since you didn't, who do they belong to? The apartment on the left belongs to Reich, whose ID card we have, so we can actually get into his apartment. And the apartment on the right belongs to Lamb, who won't let us into his apartment yet. But we, uh, we, we do occasionally get to see him wandering Something from his wonderful. apartment up to the top floor and then back down and back Please. into his apartment again. Like, like right now. Everything will become apparent when the time is right. And this guy is very cryptic. I had, I did not understand Just what he was saying. I will say that right now. I won't know until it happens. I, I, I have satire. Well, I half expected him to be right? like. Some sort of better. mystical kind of ghost character depressed. who wasn't actually me. there or You've something, but to worry about. but do I don't who are I, you? Like, exactly. It's too early. Like he's so cryptic about everything. 
coin. So, so cryptic. But none of this dialogue comes out when we see him again later in the game. Yeah, like, I don't remember him, but I, from what I can tell, he's either, like, this incredibly uh, important bad guy, or else he is a satire of New Age people. He has, like... <clears throat> or both. Well, okay, I... I think he maybe does show up in the final area of the game again. Um, he might be the character that shows up there. But if he isn't, then literally none of this makes sense. Because he does show up again in a different section of the game, and he he just comes across like a normal person then. So now we're just going to watch Lamb leave his apartment. Um... I kind of expected that I would just be able to sneak into his apartment hey, while the door man. was still open. But of course you can't do that. That'd be too easy. <laughs> yeah. So I, I decided to I decided to talk to him again. And Rob gets all formal with him. I here? I, I thought you were a dealing. You were wrong, Lamb. <laughs> and then he gets snippy. Oh, Big Gilbert. <laughs> I'd rather not oh now he's nice to us because we're not D Link. Sort of. Is this where you live? He, uh, this he, is he at least you. shows a modicum of, like, respect. Nice. Almost respect. Living I don't know. Makes my job more bearable. But how I wish I could get away some so that... I just, I just realized something, by the way. We looked into... Happy. We looked into, uh... Oh, I see what we're supposed to do there. Yeah. He, he gives a very not-subtle hint about what we're supposed to do for him. Um, because, of course, we've seen an area called Travel Co. who offered to send us on a tour. But uh, what, I was, what I was trying to get at was, we, when we looked inside Wright's apartment, there's a like, fish, like the yes. fish and the fish on the wall, and if you look at his stuff he was doing on the Link terminal, he goes to like exotic fisheries, so he's like this <laughs> fish oh, yeah. guy. Oh, yeah. And it's just there to make us feel sad that we shot him in <laughs> Well, and, not us. And then, we got shot in half. And then to make matters worse, like, when we do eventually get into his apartment, we can't even feed his fish. Uh, <laughs> I feel sad now. So here's a creepy guy. Well, his glasses on, it looks like, so uh, he's doomed to be creepy. Can't you tell? <laughs> No. I'm Mr. Cool. Yes. <laughs> Again, he has very nonsensical. Yes. He has very nonsensical dialogue. How can I get um, out of the city? I think they're, Wait, they're trying to keep you off your guard. Well. Don't you <laughs> yeah. What? Isn't that what I said? <laughs> no, it's not. Not at all. you about leaving the city. Not bodily process. Yeah. You're not making sense. It's like anyway, you can't leave It's city. like trying to have a conversation There's with like a seven year old or something. You know? Maybe he's a cyborg who's actually only seven years old. Shh yeah. cool. Wait, what? I I don't like really <laughs> If that was the case I forgot that. It, it gets exp explained later. Oh, okay, dude, I was like not serious there, so you know, whatever. <laughs> Where people know the training yeah, of and I'd sooner die than yeah, Rob like gets that. all kind of like philosophical again there, there but are more important things I don't, than I don't... only one I know of, and that's poise. There's so many like non sequiturs in this entire conversation. On a Walter. Yeah, I'm going with the computer that doesn't quite know what it's talking about. Yeah, but uh, now we're gonna go into this last area. Fire and... surgery. What could be in here? Ah! Oh! Ah! Cover your eyes. You know, <laughs> when I started this channel, I had many thoughts of what it could end up being. I wouldn't bear my bum if it looked and, like that. You know, this has happened too often for what I was expecting. Yeah, not uh, not what you expected. For tracking. Those breasts are never natural. He sounds so, so angry about, about it. it. Yeah. Not real. It's made of plants. Even the plants are fake around here. Jeez. An illustrated brochure. Don't pick that up. <laughs> Don't pick that up. It's positively pornographic. Too late. Naked people with extra parts. Now, now what extra parts do you think that they have? 
They're fashionable parts. That's what they are. <laughs> uh. It's as immovable as a stain on my conscience. <laughs> This door has no I handles just, or means of opening. Rob's non sequiturs are seriously some of the best parts it's a of this projection. game. Because <laughs> he just pulls them out at the most, like, strange times. How is this only a head and not, like, some lady what with three boobs? Uh, seriously? That actually gets explained later as well. From personal oh, okay. She's a, a, a. Obviously, this is a hologram projector that we're talking to, but yes. uh, the Do specific reason that she is just the head actually does get explained. Which, you know, fair enough. What about medical I'll give you credit, game. I didn't expect that. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's. It's. Again, it's. It's like those little bits of of lore and world building that are really cool. They help flesh out, like, the characters and the world of the game. Fashion off? Do you have an appointment? But of course, we're trying to get no, into the uh, plastic surgery, and we can't. I don't even actually know why we're trying to get in there at the moment. I'm just, it, I'm just trying to get in because adventure Wait, games. Take well, you know, that's that's good reason to try. <laughs> so, so we pick up the brochure again. Thank you for not uh, reading the whole darn thing. Yeah. And... You're just gonna end it this way. You're gonna do it. Why? 